Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a hair review and um, the hair that I have in is um, by SVT Hair. And I came across this hair, of course, on YouTube. That's all I do is watch YouTube all day long. Well, not all day long, but when I am home during the day, um, I watch a lot of YouTube because um, my husband, he watches, he controls the TV. So yes, I could go in the living room, but sometimes I just want to be in my room and not in the living room. And uh, my daughter watches TV in the living room as well because there's no TV in her room downstairs. But anyhow, so back to the hair. So um, this hair um, was very inexpensive. I'm not going to say cheap. I'm going to say inexpensive because it um, was at a great price and the quality is like it's really good so I usually buy my hair from um, Beauty Forever but I wanted to try something different and actually the person who I was watching on YouTube she did not have this hair in her hair she had um, what did she have she had um, curly hair so it was really nice cute little um, cute uh, curl pattern to it and it was really 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 nice and how she constructed constructed the wig um, made it just really really cute so I decided to go ahead and get some straight hair um, I do have um, I usually buy curly hair I don't um, buy straight hair um, I always just buy curly hair so I wanted to do something different um, I don't know if you saw me in the other video I had bought a wig that I got from LA and it was synthetic hair and it was really inexpensive I think I paid like 40 bucks for the wig and I really like that straight look and but the hair was synthetic so it's like you really can't that's not like a, I'm gonna wear it all day. I'm gonna go to work. I'm gonna, you know, just have this on my hair all day. That's like to go to, um, I gotta go to the store real quick. Um, I'm going out to dinner real quick. Let me throw my wig on and be about. So I wanted to get some real straight hair. Um, and I believe this is, um, I wanna say this is Peruvian hair. I could be lying, but I will make sure that I have all the correct information in the link in my bio. So, um, I ended up getting a 18 inch closure, okay? And what the closure is, is it's just from, basically from here to here. And it goes around like so. And then I um, went ahead and I hot glued um, the hair onto a wig, adjustable wig cap. Um, I bought a wig cap from the beauty supply and it was just like really cheap. So I ended up buying um, a better one on Amazon. So the one I got from the beauty supply was like, um, it looks small too, but it was like maybe $4.99. And then I went on Amazon and I got one for like $10.99 and it was um, much uh, durable and um, it wasn't so cheap and it fit my head and I got it in a size medium. Okay, so um, like I said, I got 18 inches clo 18 inch closure and a three bundles of 18 inches. Um, I could have did 20 inches, um, but maybe next time. I'm so weird because what happens is I will buy 18, like I mean I'll buy long hair and I just end up cutting it um, because I don't know because I'm stupid and I waste my money. But anyways, so what I did is I went ahead and. Um, I sewed the closure down from you know on the wig cap and I use my I'm just gonna take my old wig off but I'm gonna show you the mannequin head that I use um, and I use oh, here it is so I use this type of mannequin head as you can see here and I got this on Amazon and then it's um, hooked on to my little um, oh so it's hooked on to my um, to this like wig stand and you just put it on like so anyways so I glued the hair in and I tried to make my part and everything as natural as possible one thing about me is my hairline is really comes really low right here so this is all my baby hair that's all my hair um so if I were to wear like a lace wig the lace front wigs it's kind of hard for me because I would have to bring that th thing all the way down to here and like only have this much forehead so I usually just put it on the perimeter of where my hairline starts and then I usually just take out my little baby hairs or whatever. So to get it laying really flat, I use this um, hot comb and this right here, this hot comb here and it is by 
um, Annie. So Annie has regular hot combs. I actually have one on the floor right here. And this one right here you would use on the actual hot comb. So I have a stove um, that you put the hot combs in and all that stuff. But um, I'm just, I, I actually end up burning my daughter's hair out with using the hot, that um, stove because it was too hot. And um, ever since then I was like, I'm not going to use that stove anymore. So I end up buying their electric hot comb and it just goes on and off. And what I do is I just take it and it's on right now, just FYI, and go like so. And I'm not gonna rake it through because I don't wanna pull out the hair. But anyway, but I just do it on the roots of the hair to make it lay down. And it's not so, what do you call it? Yeah, so I just do that like so. And this one gets pretty warm. And I usually use these when I have my own hair out I'll use these for my edges in my kitchen get that and I get my kitchen back there yeah so anyways and that just really just lays it down like super super duper flat okay I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off because I had it on for the purpose of doing the video and I can turn that off so anytime I want to flatten down my um, my wigs I just turn that um, thing on and you know do like so so I'm gonna just let you guys see let me bring my thing down how far it goes on me and it just goes to like the bottom part of my boobs yeah and I this hair is actually in its natural state the only thing that I washed was the closure um, because I had to dye uh, bleach the knots so I did not normally I wash every hair that I buy I wash it but I didn't wash this hair because I was so eager to um, I was so eager to make the wig I think you guys have you guys lopsided but anyways I was so eager to um, make the wig I didn't want to wait for the hair to dry because it's hard to use a glue gun on wet um, weft so but as you can see the hair is just I wore this today and it did not um, it doesn't shed too much but all hair sheds but and I cut the um, I cut the tracks when I do put my um, when I make my wigs but the hot gun seals the wefts when you're um, when you're putting it on the wig so I don't get too much shedding um, but I just the hair is just so nice and silky only part that I flat ironed was the closure and that was it but I just this hair is just like amazing um so how much did I pay for the hair so with the 18 inch closure and the um and the 18 uh 18 inch three bundles I end up paying I want to say a hundred and forty five dollars for everything and I believe I had a coupon I think it was like either five dollars off or ten dollars off I'm not sure because I just bought another wig that I'm waiting from from Van Love and Van Love hair and I'll do a review on that one as well I'm just waiting for it to come in um, so I actually was gonna like not even buy um, um, bundled hair in um, either closures or frontals because I just didn't like the way that not that I didn't like the way that they fit but I I just feel much better with the wigs so but I'm just really pleased with how this one came out I really am but we'll see how that wig from Van Love um, turns out so I will put the information in my description box about the hair and um, yeah so I am really pleased with uh, this hair and it's just so nice and soft I keep running my hands through it and from the back it just looks so it just looks so nice yeah, so I guys hope you like this um, hair review, and um, if you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comment section below. Um, like my video, thumbs up, hit that smash button to, um, hit that smash button, smash that like button for me. Alright, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!